How you guys doing? Corey Tucker here. Thanks for watching the channel. Today's video is all about the top five production tips for the beginner music producer. Well, I can remember starting my journey as a musical producer. I was, I'm actually a singer first. And so I remember being in the studio a bunch of times asking a whole bunch of questions so I could understand what the engineer was doing. And that really led me on my journey. Now, I didn't have someone sharing a video with me, giving me five tips, but I've made those mistakes. And I wanna share with you those five top tips that will help you on your creative journey. So first things first. We have to build a solid foundation. It's a lot like building a house. Now, when you build a house, you build a house on a solid foundation, not a rickety one. So what does that mean for the music producer? It's important for you to get comfortable with music theory. Learn the keys that you're going to be playing in. Learn BPMs. Learn, learn the, the actual notes that you're going to be playing. Spend some time training your ear to hear notes and be able to play them back. And as part of this tip, it's important for you to learn and listen to a whole bunch of different genres. Understand what's happening within the music. You might even want to pick up an instrument and start tinking around with a, a MIDI keyboard or a guitar. This will really help you and train your ear to begin to pick out notes. Tip number two, this is always a big question. What should I buy for the studio? And so what I tell people is don't go buy a whole bunch of gear. Get a nice pair of headphones, some decent monitors, and a computer with a very reliable digital audio workstation. Get really comfortable listening to your own tracks, get really comfortable listening to your favorite tracks through those headphones and through those monitors. So these will be your trusty companions that you rely on day in and day out. So don't go blow a whole lot of money on all synthesizers and all these other things. Spend good money on these quality things. It will set you up for success later. And the other cool thing is you can you can take a nice pair of headphones and a, a laptop in the middle of a city and, and record sounds or get inspiration from what you're seeing. Tip number three, train your ears. Being a music producer is like being a detective for sound. Critical listening is, is really your superpower. So what I want you to do is analyze your top favorite tracks of all times, pick them apart, try to figure out what's happening with the bass, what's happening with the drums, what's, what's the transition like from verse to chorus, what's the, what, are you, what frequencies are you hearing, are the vocals panning from left to right, are there three electric guitars, really pick those songs apart and figure out what's happening in those tracks and why you love so this will help you really discern frequencies, dynamics, and where your sound should go in your mix. Tip number four, it's time to get wild and creative. There's gonna be a lot of conventions when it comes to writing music, but the beautiful thing is that it's your music. It's, it's your canvas, splash some colors on it. Man, one of my favorite things to do is, is to, try out new effects, mess around with unconventional sounds. There's times where I put a flute in the track, right? And, and it just, wow, okay, that works. So experiment. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't copy your favorite producer. Learn from their style and steal what works for you. But in this process, you will really begin to find your own own unique style and that becomes really important tip number five last but certainly not least mixing and arrangement the mixing is like the 
the icing on the cake. It's this where you're going to learn the art of EQing, compression, and automation. These things can take your really good sounding track to great sounding. And when it comes to arrangement, think about arranging your song from a storytelling standpoint. Allow your music to tell a story. Because when you tell that story, you want others to connect with that story. So structure your tracks effectively. Create those dynamic highs and those lows. And take your audience. Take them on a journey. Take them somewhere. So those are my top five tips for the beginner, producer, if you have any questions, please write them down in the comments. I would love to connect with you. Hit, when you subscribe, hit, hey, I subscribed, and I'll, I'll follow you back and leave you a comment on some of the things that you're doing. All right, until the next one, peace and love.